for a banded assisted hip hinge with T-spine rotation, you're going to have a resistance band, cook band, something that's set up about hip crease height, right? So that crease where we hinge back. And then you're going to step into that band and you're going to put that basically around where that hip crease would be. And you'll find the spot, but it's going to go around the, the butt cheeks, like the top of the butt cheeks, not your lower back, but the butt cheeks. That then is going to promote your hip hinge. So if you chop back from your hips and sit into your hinge, you're going to feel the feedback from that band. And again, you might have to manipulate it a little bit like I just did there to find that sweet spot. So I want you to then address your posture like you're in a static hinge, ISO hinge, almost like you're addressing a golf club. And then while you're there, you're going to rotate T-spine side to side. Just keep that band below the elbows. You'll see I'm kind of hitting it there. And then as you get better and better, we're going to create a more dynamic golf swing with this too, where we lead with that lower body, shift and lead with that lower body, and we maintain that posture until we hit the ball. You're going to do that for the time or the reps prescribed. That's a banded hip hinge with T-spine rotation.